Percy and the bandstand. It was summertime on the island of Sodor. The top of Hat was in Great Waterton with Miss Kenny and her machines. They were building a new bandstand. There was to be an open air concert that evening. It was a special surprise for Lady Hat. She loved brass bands. All the engines were busy helping to make the day special. Edward was bringing special parcels. Thomas was bringing the banners and bunting. Percy was bringing the gravel for the pathways. Thank you, Percy. Right on time. Percy tried to shut the freight cars into place, but the cars decided to be troublesome. Percy pushed and pushed, but the freight cars wouldn't move. Percy knew what he had to do. He had to use his do-as-I-say whistle. So Percy blew his whistle long and loudly. The freight cars knew that when Percy blew his do-as-I-say whistle, they had to do what he wanted. It meant Percy was in charge. Soon, all the freight cars were in line. So Topple Hat bustled over to Percy. I hope I didn't blow my whistle too loudly. Not at all, Percy. You showed you were in charge. Percy was relieved. Now, I need you to collect Lady Hot and bring her to the surprise concert. You must be here by tea time, understand? Yes, sir. You must not tell her where she is going or it will spoil the surprise. Don't worry, sir. I won't. Percy collected the passenger car. He was very excited. He had to meet Lady Hat at Maithwaite Station. It was a long way from Great Waterton. At last, Percy puffed into Maithwaite Station. All aboard! Sir Topham Hat has sent me to take you on a special trip. Oh, that sounds lovely. First of all, I'd like to go to the duck pond. And Lady Hat climbed on board. Percy was worried. He was supposed to take Lady Hat to the bandstand. That was her special trip. Percy knew there wasn't time to visit the duck pond. But he didn't dare tell Lady Hat. He thought she might be cross. So he puffed to the duck pond. Lady Hat stood by the duck pond. She liked watching the ducks. They quacked and quacked. But Percy wanted them to be on their way. At last, Lady Hat was back on board. Next, I'd like to go to the windmill. Percy was very worried. He knew there wasn't time to go to the windmill. But he didn't feel brave enough to tell Lady Hat. So Percy puffed away. When they arrived at the window, Dusty Miller was there. Lady Hat was pleased. Hello, Dusty. How are you? We're going to be really late now, Percy huffed to himself. At last, Lady Hat finished talking to Dusty. Now, Percy, I'd like to see the bluebells in the woods. It would be the perfect end to my special trip. Percy was more worried than ever. Percy puffed to the woods, but with every puff, he was getting later and later, and further and further from Lady Hat's surprise. Percy and Lady Hat arrived at the wood. Lady Hat wandered off to admire the bluebells. Percy waited and waited. Suddenly, Thomas puffed up to Percy. Where have you been, Percy? Sir 
top of Hat is cross. He doesn't want Lady Hat to be late. Percy didn't want Sir Topham Hat to be cross. He didn't want the surprise to be spoiled. Don't worry, I'll have her there on time. So Thomas puffed away. Percy couldn't see Lady Hat anywhere. Percy knew what he had to do. He had to use his do-as-I-say whistle. Percy blew his whistle long and loudly. Lady Hat came out of the woods. Percy, is something the matter? I'm taking you to a surprise. That's your special trip. Oh, I love surprises. Why didn't you tell me? Because I thought you'd be cross with me if I told you what to do. And now we might be late. We must hurry. So Lady Hat climbed quickly on board, and Percy raced away. Percy steamed back to Great Wharton as fast as he could. The band was warming up. Jack and Alfie were very excited. Percy had arrived with Lady Hat on time. The band started to play. Lady Hat was delighted. Oh, what a lovely surprise. Thank you for getting me here on time, Percy. And thank you, Percy, for keeping it a surprise. Percy was pleased. His do-as-I-say whistle had saved the day. It had been really useful. And so had Percy.